Now, former U.S. President Donald Trump has sued his former lawyer, Michael Cohen. The suit has been filed in a U.S. district court in Florida. It seeks $500 million from Cohen. The allegation? Breach of attorney-client privileges and a confidentiality agreement. The lawsuit comes after Cohen, once Trump's loyal fixer, testified before a Manhattan grand jury that later indicted Trump on 34 felony counts for falsifying business records. This is the first time in U.S. history that a former president has been charged with such a crime. The suit accuses Cohen of spearheading falsehoods about Trump with malicious intent. Trump is not specifically suing Cohen over his grand jury testimony in the criminal case, but he cites it in support of an argument that his ex-lawyer sought to profit from his role through the publication of two books, a podcast series and media appearances. Meanwhile, Cohen's spokesperson and attorney Lanny Davis has said that the lawsuit will not stop Cohen's cooperation with the prosecutors. So let me be very clear. There are lots of labels, lots of political attacks, lots of rants on social media. There's only one word that Michael Cohen has always told me he wants from the very beginning that I started with him to this very moment. The word is truth, and I'll back that up by my own word. Facts. Anytime you hear labels about Michael, attacks on Michael, just remember, we have the facts proven and documented on our side, and that's the truth. Now, the suit is the latest effort by Trump to use the legal system to go after his political enemies. The criminal case against Trump brought last week by the Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg accuses the former president of falsifying 34 business records. The former U.S. president pleaded not guilty to all charges in a Manhattan court on the 4th of April. And for more on this, our correspondent Susan Therani has sent us this report from New York. Listen in. Former U.S. President Donald Trump has sued his former fixer and attorney Michael Cohen for $500 million. The former president alleges that Cohen, quote unquote, spread falsehood about him and violated confidentiality agreements. Michael Cohen re-entered the spotlight last month when we, he became a key witness in front of a grand jury here in Manhattan in which the jury ultimately decided to indict the former president on 34 counts. Uh, Trump says that Cohen also committed these violations uh, through public statements, books and podcast series as well as innumerable mainstream media appearances. The former president claims that as a result of this, he has suffered reputational harm. The former president also wants a restitution of any profits, payments, compensations or advances, not only from Cohen's book, but also podcast series. Cohen's lawyer, meanwhile, says that Mr. Cohen will not be deterred and is confident that this lawsuit will fail based on the facts and the law. Michael Cohen back in 2018 pleaded guilty for violating federal election laws due to that hush money he paid adult film actress Stormy Daniels. As a result, he was convicted and spent three years in federal prison. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for We On World Is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.